A very good morning to all the viewers. It has been an incredible feeling to be a part of the book week and mentor these wonderful students of the International Wing. As a student mentor, I thoroughly enjoyed digging up the story with them, answering their questions, and opening up the wings of our imagination together through this wondrous book, Kindness is My Superpower, written by Alicia Ortego. Kindness is a passport that opens doors and fashions friends. It softens hearts and molds relationships that last a lifetime. It is indeed a superpower we all possess. So, let's witness our little munchkins, students of IPC, present a story to all of us. Here we go! A very good morning to everyone. Today, students of IPC are here to present a story. Kindness is my superpower by Alicia Ortega. This story will enlighten your minds and instill kindness in your characters. There was a young boy named Lucas who teased one of his classmates, Lisa, and made her cry. His mom explained him to not be mean and selfish. Instead, be kind and generous. She explains to him what kindness is and small acts of kindness helps us to be a better human being. So let's dive into the story. So let's turn the pages and learn something new. I am Lucas, just an ordinary boy and this is Teddy. My favorite toy. I like to eat candies, jellies and cakes. But sometimes I make some mistakes. You see, yesterday I was in a bad mood. So I did something very, very rude. I teased my friend Lisa for her glasses. And made her cry throughout all of her glasses. When I got home, I saw my mom. She put my hand into her gentle palm. She told me, Honey, your friend Lisa is so sad. What you did was wrong and bad. You need to be kind, she also said. I knew I was wrong, so I bowed my head. What is kindness? Asked my mom for advice. She hugged me tightly, not once, but twice. Kindness is when you say a gentle word. You can be kind to your sister, a puppy or a bird. You can be kind to someone who is angry and mad. You can be kind to someone who is unhappy and sad. Kindness is when you respect people older than you. Kindness is when you respect the younger ones too. Kindness is when you help everyone in need. Kindness is whenever you do a good deed. I pondered on her words and I couldn't sleep all night. I really wanted to be kind and genuinely polite. So, I decided then and there without any warning that I would become kind in the morning. And in the morning, I was kind. It's true. When mom made me breakfast, I said, thank you. I took off my pajamas, which was soft and red. I put away my toys and made my own bed. On the bus, I showed up the best I could be. I offered the new boy to sit next to me. I helped him find his classroom too. That was the least I could do. 
said hello to all my friends. I even shared my crayons and pens. And then I saw Lisa with sadness in her eyes. I approached her slowly, wanting to apologize. I am sorry I teased you yesterday. Lisa smiled and said, "It's okay." I realized the kindness is super cool. So I was kind beyond just at school. On the playground, I patiently waited for my turn for the sign. And you know what? I felt so happy inside. I was patient and kind, not angry at all. And I found joy in helping a little boy find his lost ball. I picked up the trash even though it wasn't mine. Kindness and good deeds made my heart shine. When I went with my mom to a nearby store, I helped the lady with the stroller by holding the door. And after we bought my favorite toy and treat, my mom and I helped the old lady cross the street. I continued to be kind with joy and glee. And at night at home, my dad fell asleep in front of the TV. He was sleeping on his sofa instead of his bed. So I covered him with a blankie and kissed his forehead. I helped my little sister tie her shoe lace. I was happy to see the smile beaming on her face. Being kind isn't really hard to make. I went to give my lonely neighbor a piece of cake. I also helped him water the flowers. Kindness does have magical powers. I no longer do the mean things I had done before. I don't tease others and I don't slam the door. I stopped being selfish and I shared my toys. I don't shout around or make disrespectful noise. Kindness is something you can quickly learn when you give and ask for nothing in return. Others is the least you can do. If you are kind, kindness will come back to you.
how big or how small can make a difference when done intentionally. Well, well, well. It was indeed amazing to see these students present the story in such a vivid manner. And the message is clear, written on the wall. No act of kindness, even the smallest, ever goes waste. As the children showed, it is like that boomerang that comes back to us and blesses us with happiness and contentment. I would like to thank my teachers for this beautiful learning opportunity to work as a student mentor and learn all the way. Thank you and stay safe.